What's up, guys? We are back. Fitness Profit Multiplier, Anthony and Jimmy. Always be not closing, hiring. That's right. Today, we're going to be talking about why you should always be hiring. Always on the lookout to hire. Why is that important? And I'll tell you guys, I'm, I'm going to get right to the meat and potatoes of this one really quick here. But, you know, you always want to be hiring. And the reason for that is because you always want to be searching for new talent. You never, ever, 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 ever know when someone's going to leave your facility. Listen, you can have the best staff in the world right now. If somebody gets an opportunity to make more money, they're gone. You need to be able to replace that person really quick. You always want to be out the lookout for an A player. Always. You may, maybe you have a really good team right now, but maybe there's somebody out there that's way better than your team. So you always have to be recruiting and always have to be hiring. Remember, it doesn't cost you anything to take a conversation with somebody, to meet with someone over the phone, to talk to them. So you always want to be recruiting. So I'm going to tell you guys a little quick story here. I'll pull it up as we're speaking. But I put out a job post yesterday on my social media. I have a pretty big following on social media. So sometimes I get lucky and I get, you know, one of the trainers that we just hired uh, was a referral from someone on Facebook. So I put up a post and some some person messaged me and uh, says to me, so this is Wednesday at two o'clock. This is how this conversation started. Wednesday at two o'clock. Uh, it's just really funny. So I have to tell the story. So Wednesday at two o'clock, they messaged me. What's the position? Interested. I can text later. I didn't respond. 239. I have a Zumba certification and want pound and more tons, customer service manager, etc. I'm a real estate agent, esthetician, notary, and I want to teach exercise, etc. So that was at 2.30. So I just responded back, what hours do you have available to train? So that was at 4 o'clock. 4.30, she text, the, the person texts me back. Usually any, a lot right now. I just found out I have to move and get rod a lot of things, my belongings downsizing. And he isn't giving me a lot of time at all. So here's my number. If you want to talk about things, been looking for, we both have questions. I'm available seven o'clock, whatever. So already I'm reading this and I'm like, this is a huge red flag. This person's telling you about their moving. I'm like, this is not a fit. So I don't even answer. So that was at four 30. Text me back, message me back at 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night PM. Call me tomorrow. I'll figure something out. Messages me again, 10 27. I can make a schedule. We can work. We can talk on phone tomorrow. I'm the perfect person for the position. I can give you a schedule to train. How many hours are you looking for? My availability opened up a little more next week. I'll make this work. I'll make it work. I want this position, not passing it up. I go to, I go to gym five to six days, a lot of classes a week or day. 3.20 a.m. I can start some time next week or two. What number can I call you on? 7 a.m. <laughs> can I start next week? I'm free next week. I'm open to train. I'm going to make this my job. Phone number. I canceled other jobs. The move next door. And this is a whole big paragraph about moving. I've been a coach. I can work. Uh, are you available to talk today at 3 p.m.? I live here. My hometown is here. This is my dream. Like, I don't know how, what people think, but I didn't even respond to any of these messages. But this is why you always need to be hiring. Because if I really needed somebody and that person came across, I'd be pissed. Yeah. I'd be pissed. So you always need to be looking for a talent. And again, they don't even have to be, I talk about this all the time. They don't even have to be trainers. I don't like them to be trainers, I think. I think it's better when they're not trainers and they're just actually good rock star people that you could craft and mold into what you need them to be. But yeah, that was a long-winded story. But just to go to prove my point, this is why you always got to be hiring because you never know what's going to come in. And like I said, if I needed someone and I got that, I'd be really frustrated right now. Yeah, sometimes you get stuck in a pickle where you need coverage and you're thrown back into the business and you need coverage as quickly as possible. And you get somebody like that and you're you're in this weird position where your hands are tied and you're like, do I give them a shot? Because then you find yourself in the position where you start thinking about giving that person a shot, which does not hold the standard of your business in high regard because that person is all over the place. But you start to negotiate with yourself and say, well, maybe they'll work. Maybe I'll be able to train them. Maybe this, maybe that, because you need somebody so badly. So the problem is always be hiring 
because you never know when somebody's going to drop off the boat. You never know when somebody's going to say, hey, this doesn't work for me anymore. You never know when somebody's going to maybe start stealing from you. You never know when somebody's going to um, start, you know, uh, upsetting clients. Like last week, we had a guy, a client called me, said she was going to quit the gym if she kept training with this one coach. And her and her whole family train at my gym. So, and I'd already had a couple of complaints from this individual. And it was like, I was in a position where I could just let him go right out the gate because I had other people to fill the role. And I'd been interviewing and having interns come in and all this stuff. We don't currently have a position available for somebody, but we have two interviews next week with new potential hires. And I'm going to hold those interviews because if that person's a rock star and they're really good, it's good to have them in my back pocket. It's good to see what they're all about. And then when I do need somebody, I have this list of people that I can call on to fill the role. So just because you don't have a role available at the very moment doesn't mean that you shouldn't interview people. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't be hiring. You should always be looking for that person because you need that, that lead flow, just like you need lead flow for clients. You need that lead flow of employees so you can continue to build your brand, build your business, and not have hiccups along the way as easily. That's how you ensure yourself against some downturns in your staffing or some cultural changes or some things that you have to revamp because you have people in the wings that are there to help you and are ready to work. So I would just always be interviewing. Doesn't matter if you have a position or don't. Yeah. And you never know. You never know. Like maybe you'll find a, uh, this is the cool part about when you don't need things. So if you don't need somebody, maybe you get an A star rock star coach that walks in and you don't need them. Maybe you could offer them like low volume an offer. You know, let's say you normally pay your trainers 20 bucks an hour, whatever, 23 bucks an hour, whatever it is. Say, hey, listen, right now I have, uh, you know, I only have uh, limited hours and, you know, I have 18 bucks an hour I can do it for. Maybe they'll accept it. And then maybe you get really good quality work and then you could kind of shift around people and, you know, and then let that person kind of weed out. Because remember, sometimes people always sound phenomenal. And then once you get them started, you're like, ah, it's kind of crap. You know, yeah. they're not that good. You can get rid of them. But at least you have the option then at that point. At least you have the option. It's always good to have options. So guys, always be hiring and always be closing. That's another thing that we will help you with. If you guys want help with any of that stuff, just make sure you click the links below. And until next time, Anthony and Jimmy, Fitness Profit Multiplier, we are out.